Hi, welcome back. We're going to continue to work on an Inns Gin Magic Shack. Today, we're going to move on and start the rest of these books. But before we do that, we want to go back to our snake plant here. Here in the instructions, since he's nice and dry now, we want to put some natural curves on these leaves. So I would just slightly bend them out a bit and scratch them up alongside your fingernail. And they look a little wide when you first start out, but we'll push them back into place. We just want to get them separated with some natural grace on them. And that's definitely a little wide, but then we can pull them up and you can see it follows pretty much along. And there we go. We set him aside. And we'll move on to books 121 to 128. And they're showing here we need B4. When you look at B4 in the parts identification, it shows that there's eight of them. So let's look for them. And all of these boards are their own separate alpha characters. So this is A. We want to look for B. This is also A. Here's B. But I don't see a B4. This is all F. And this is E, G, D. Here's some B. This is our last one, so it has to be in here. Here it is, B4. And this is where we need to bring in our little towel knife at to get these out of here. And next we want 1-21 through 1-28. And they are on this page, 1-2. And they're right here. So we're going to cut them out. There's our eight books. The cute thing is they are actual book covers. I don't know if they're factual ones, but they're real cute. This one says, Big Book of Blooms. This one says English Literature, Chinese Literature. This one says Good Book. It's got some kind of picture on it. These two are just designed. This one says Sonnets and Lyrical Poems by Dante Gabrielle Rossetti. And this one says Earth Sea, a wizard's something. I've actually read that book, so that's really cute. So now what we want to do is fold them around these wood pieces. We might have to scratch some of these edges a bit to flatten out those little wooden points. And we will have some noticeable edge happening here, but we can touch that up with a marker. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I did want to point out, I've changed glue. I'm going to try this three-in-one beacon. It also is supposed to dry crystal clear, but it has this instant grab, unlike what I was using previously. And while this is a great glue, the Aline's, I, I want something to grab a little bit more because I had to resort to crazy glue for these little candelabras and some of the other metal pieces. And not that I'm opposed to crazy glue because it does work, but it tends to let this fogginess behind and we don't want that i don't want that so other than that the crazy glue works great but i don't want that foggy looking finish especially on my shiny metal pieces and most of these you can't really tell we use the crazy glue i mean it didn't leave a fogginess but it did on these and you can see it right in here and yeah it's kind of disappointing but maybe I'm a little picky but yes I am a little picky so if we do all this hard work we just we want to make it as good as we can So we'll go ahead and put these labels on. I'm going to look at folding mine along the bind here. I'll start with this one since it's more obvious and just give it a little fold. And I think that'll help it fold around the wood a little better. Yes, that folds it around very nicely. Now these covers are a little bit bigger than the wood, but that's probably a good thing. eight books they're adorable this glue worked really well for this I like it so cute we have an extra one of these there's nine of those so let's hang on to that for later and we'll move on to the next okay this section here was the same and now we're going to here and we want B5. So I'm going to guess that's on here. Here it is. There we go. That works good, doing it from the back. We'll go ahead and use our brown marker right away and touch these all up. And now we need our book covers 1-4 through 1-8. That is on the same paper, 1-2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Another set of really cute covers. Cannot really read them. This says Chinese something. This one's just decorated as is this other one. This one has pastries on it, little heart pastries. This one has a guitar. This one has some kind of nature stuff. Flowers and a moon. There's no writing. 
And this one is... Now we got 2-7 and 2-8, and they're going to be folded into little boxes. And those are on page 2-2, right here. 2-7, 2-8. And our next step is 2-6 and 2-9, and 2-6 is here. And 2 9 is here, so I'm going to cut that out right away, also. Now we're going to make all our folds and then glue them together into their little boxes. We have 2-6, two, 2-9, two two 2-7, and 2-8. Two, two of them folded up into boxes. That would be 6 and 9. And 7 and 8 were bottomless boxes. So those got adorable too. Go ahead and move on and do some more. Now here we are at 133 and 132. These are ones that get folded accordion style and they're showing them pinched together here to hold them in place. So we'll look for them. 1-33 and 1-32. They're on 1-2 and they are right here. Okay, so it's showing that we want to fold the book cover and then accordion the rest of it inside. Let's put a little bit of glue just at the bind. I'll put a little in there too. We don't want to do this side because then it will glue shut. Something like that. And here is one dash thirty two and 1-33. You can see the eyeball. <laughs> and we'll move on to 2-10. That was one of the extra pieces that we cut out. This whole thing is 2-10. So how they're showing this is, first, we're going to take one of the plain gray ones, or brown, and fold it in half. And then we're going to take another one of the 
plain ones and fold it with it on the outside. And this gets glued into there. That's this one. This one is another plain one. Well, there's two for that end. And I don't see, a, no, this one you can barely make it out. It's this piece with the little blue writings. So that one is folded inside. And the one with the circles is folded on the outside and gets glued on to the one with the blue. And then we're going to start over here. You got the two plain ones. And again, you fold one inside and you fold one outside. And that'll get glued on to there. And then the next one is the map folded to the inside. And the music, I don't know if I showed you the map. Here's the map. That's folded to the inside. And this one is folded to the outside. And then these all get glued into here close to the center ish and then this one gets folded to the inside and laid open There we have it. I don't know. I think I would have just glued all the pages back to back and then stuck it in. I think it would have been easier. We still have pages here with nothing on the back. The newspaper in the center. But it's still cute. I don't know that I like that method of putting it together but there it is it still looks really cute 
So we did this. This was 1 dash or 2 dash 10. We did 132 and 133 with the eyeball and hopefully leather. <laughs> we did 26, 27, 28, and 29, and that's these four. And we did 1 3 through 1 9, which are the little ones here. And we did 121 through 128, which are these bigger books. So we got quite the array of books. Some are big, some are small, some are in cases, some are like loose leaf and a big book full. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you next time. Bye.